A study was published in October 2016 on the cardiovascular effects of taking calcium supplements. It was a multi-ethnic study. The 10-year study had 5,448 adults between the ages of 45 and 85 years old. The participants were free of cardiovascular disease at the start of the study. 52% of them were female. The researchers concluded that people consuming calcium supplements had a higher risk of coronary artery calcification and its progression. Note that when arteries become calcified, it leads to high blood pressure and can eventually lead to a heart attack or stroke. The form of calcium that one consumes is very important. Many calcium supplements are made from calcium carbonate, which is the same material as blackboard chalk. The body cannot use this form of calcium, and thus deposits of it form on the walls of the circulatory system. However, the form of calcium found in plants, especially green plants, is highly usable by the body. Dietary calcium has been linked to a lower risk of coronary artery calcification. Magnesium lays down the bone density and is of vital importance to having strong bones. However, the majority of the population is deficient in magnesium and has an overabundance of calcium. This ratio leads to weak bones. Magnesium supplements have also been shown to reduce blood pressure. My own mother developed coronary artery calcification and suffered from clogged arteries as a result of taking calcium carbonate supplements. The calcium supplement also made her osteoporosis worsen. When she stopped taking the calcium supplement and replaced it with a magnesium supplement, her bone density eventually returned to what the doctor called perfect for her age. She was 72 then and now she is 84 and has good bones. A little known hidden source of dangerous forms of calcium is fortified food especially nut milk, soy milk, rice milk, and other calcium fortified foods. Check the ingredient list. If you see the word calcium on the ingredient list, I suggest that you avoid that product.